Hey what's up and welcome to the SS Godroll Hunting. In this episode we are reviewing the Twilight Oath we rock in Season 14, Season of the Splicer. This solar sniper rifle was introduced in Season 4, the Forsaken expansion, and received a rework in Season 14. It is located on the second weapon slot and can be obtained by completing encounters in the Shadow Throne Dungeon and bounties in the Dreaming City. With 140 rounds per minute and the rapid fire frame archetype, it is comparable to the Omniscient Eye, the Apostate, Widow's Bite, the Stantamalus and the Iculus sniper rifle. The base set comparison between those sniper rifles indicates that the Omniscient Eye has all the best base sets, followed by the Apostate. The Iculus sniper has the best aim assist and with the Distant Tamalus and the Widow's Bite the highest zoom value. The Twilight Oath and the Widow's Bite have the best recoil pattern. All of those snipers are solar except the Apostate, which is an Argus weapon. The perk comparison shows that the Apostate and the Twilight Oath both stand out with the high value Zarplus perk. Furthermore, the Twilight Oath is the only sniper with the Shield Use Aaron perk, the Warple perk and the Elemental Capacitor perk. Additionally, a high PvP adaption with the Snapshot Side perk is granted which is also available on the Omniscient Eye and the Distant Tamalus. The Icula Sniper and the Apostate have both great perks for PvE and Endgame. The Widow's Bite has clearly more PvP perks and the Distant Tamalus and the Omniscient Eye have creative perks for PvE. E and PvP. Summarized, the Twilight Oath is the only sniper which can be highly converted to a high stat monster with stat enhancing mods like Sarplos and Elemental Capacitor. There are high valued perks at the right places to enable a great endgame as well as PvP adaption. Still, this Orient was until now only on Garden Observation weapons and has a great value for endgame. A great PvE role with high adaption to endgame can use Marble, Tactical Mag, Sarplus and Warball with a range masterwork. Marble will improve range and stability, Tactical Mag will increase magazine size, increase reload speed and improve stability. Sarplus will buff stability, handling and reload speed for each active ability and Warball will deal 15% more damage against bosses, champions and guardians with active super. A more range focused approach can use accurate rounds which will increase the range. Healing Frenzy is a great alternative which will highly increase reload speed depending on previous defeats. A combination with Polygon Rifle and Accurize Rounds can also be recommended. Polygon Rifling will highly improve stability and Accurize Rounds the range. A high range and big magazine size roll can use Hammerforge Rifling which will greatly improve range and Tactical Mag which buffs magazine size stability and increases the reload speed. Now let's focus on endgame rolls. Heavily recommended role can use Fluted Barrel and Accurate Thrones, Sarplus and Warple. Fluted Barrel will highly improve handling and stability which will boost the performance and swap speed. Accurate Thrones will improve range. The max stat roll would use Tactical Mag instead which will buff the magazine size up to 7 and also increase reload speed and stability. Lead from the Gold is a great alternative for endgame and will also provide special ammo when picking up heavy ammo. Shield Disorient is a great perk for endgame. When breaking a matching shield type it will cause an explosion and disorient nearby enemies. A solid high range focus roll can use full bore which will highly improve range but decrease stability and handling. Great addition to this are Sarplus which will buff base stats and compensate the Malus and also Elemental Capacitor. Elemental Capacitor will highly improve stability, handling, recoil or reload speed depending on the active subclass. Even without Elemental Capacitor and only with Sarplus and Warple this roll can provide a reliable usability. Tactical Mag perk is in favor to possess a high magazine size of 7 bullets. Of course, Hammerforge Rifling and Tactical Mag can also be recommended. No distraction on the third row will highly reduce incoming flinch by 35% when aiming downside for 1 second without firing. Unrelenting is also a great addition to endgame and will trigger health regeneration on defeats. And a roll with Coxco Rifle will provide overall stat bonus on handling, stability and range and is a very solid addition to provide a overall performance bonus. Thresh is the go-to perk if one is focusing for a fast supercharge time. Great, now let's have a look at PvP roles. The full recoil focus PvP role has Arrowhead Break, Acura's Round, Sarplos and Snapshot Side with the Counterbalance mod. Arrowhead Break and the Counterbalance mod will both minimize the recoil. Additionally, Arrowhead will highly buff handling and increase performance and swap speed. Sarplos will even more improve the base stats for each active ability and Snapshot Side will highly decrease the aim down speed. A full range focused approach can use Hammerforge Trifling which will increase range with no downside. If one is willing to improve range even more one can use Killing Wind which will provide a 20 range buff after defeats and Warpull to shut down Guardians with active super. Malvo is the way to go if one to have both range and stability. Trash and no destruction are good alternatives if one is aiming for a fast supercharge or reduced flinch. And of course the max range roll with full bore, surplus and elemental capacitor can be applied and is easily valued on Void or Arca subclasses since they buff stability or handling. 
What is your opinion and which perks would you prefer? Give me your opinion in chat while I'm live on Twitch or YouTube or simply leave a comment. If you would like to download this wallpaper which shows all stats and god roll perks of this weapon you can join my discord. The link is down in the description. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to like, share and subscribe and check out my media. Have a good one.